Um, it seems like it's been a while since we've just vlogged together, hung out together on an, an errand type of day, which is what today is. I'm gonna grab lunch with Jonathan, who I think is on the way here right now. And uh, we're supposed to eat here at California, what is the name of this? California Fish Grill. They have one of these in the valley, Woodland Hills. Uh, but there's also a new location here in Thousand Oaks, so we are going to be trying it out and we're both really hungry We've had a really really busy work morning. It would be nice to fuel up and get some errands done. Here we are Wow How thankful we are that we still have indoor dining because I mean who knows with everything that's going on with the pandemic, you never know, so you don't want to take things for granted. Hand sanitizer. Wait. It's a must. That's root beer. It's root beer. We have vanilla root beer. Is that what? Yikes. Oops. He doesn't like vanilla root beer. Wow, what a delicious spread of food. Where's the salmon? Yeah. Where's the salmon? Oh no, it's the wrong one. Uh oh. Didn't even get the salmon and swine. You wanna add it? The swine combo. This one's Jonathan's with white rice. What is this? Ooh, coconut shrimp. Mine is the swine salmon or swine with brown rice and a spare. Um, Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna try the asparagus. I can tell he's a little bit disappointed there's no salmon. Swall. Swall? This swall? Mess that up. Swall. It's pretty good though. It's flavorful. Who enjoys Brussels sprouts? a really healthy lunch. Huge coconut shrimp. It's actually a huge piece. Mm. So I've been sitting in the car the past hour. A reel that I had to post on Instagram and it took me an hour because my phone was glitching out. It took me a lot longer than expected. It's already four. 27. I still have to go to the post office. I have so many errands to run, but I think we need to go to the post office first, pick up some packages, and then come back to this area because we have like Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods. We have all those places to check out. We just got to our next destination, which is the post office. Uh, I live in Ventura County, so this area. They do not require a mask indoors. I know in LA County, uh, masks are required indoors. Curious, in your area, um, are you guys required to wear a mask indoors? Hold on, we have two. Receptacle number P1. Mm, P1. All right, so we are at Ross. Let's see what we can find. I had to use a different mic because the music's a little bit loud over here. Don't want to get copyrighted. We're just kind of, you know, shopping together. Kind of point it so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So let me know if you guys do this, okay? Because whenever I go to the store, I see a lot of ladies always leaving their purses in the cart, which never really made sense to me always figured that was such a bad thing because you never know who's like right next to you right and the thing is i see a lot of ladies you know they'll literally leave their cart turn around like it will be all the way in back of them 
And then when somebody passes by the cart, they are like, you know, like grabbing their cart to make sure that their purse doesn't get stolen. But my thinking is, why are you leaving your purse unattended? First of all, you should be holding on to that shit, right? You shouldn't be like leaving it out for everybody's business. You know what I mean? That's just my two cents on it. They always have such cute things here. Like, I like this color, right? What a cute little like crop top. How much is this? $7.99? It's not a crop top. It's a freaking sports bra, but I love the color. How cute is this? San Tropez Tennis Club. It's really cute. $6.99. Not bad. Let's, let's hang on to that. Let's see, hang on. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of Lizzie, Stitch and Angel, because I know Lizzie loves Stitch. My friend Lizzie, what will Lizzie do here on YouTube? Okay, see, I would wear this. I think this is really cute. It's a two-piece set. How much is it? $19.99. I kind of wish it was like, I wish it was pink to be honest or like more of like this color you know like a like a tan lighter tan this one's a little bit more on like the burnt like a light burnt orange next aisle lots of disney stuff oh look at this one hello kitty size small 15.99 Disney, they have Stitch, very cute. They have another Hello Kitty. Oh, this one's cute. This is actually really cute. I remember I used to have a whole bunch of Playboy stuff. Playboy shoes, um, accessories, $21.99. Hey, Sorry to interrupt. Are you like a YouTuber? Hi. Hi. Make sure you subscribe to Kastri Sorry. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. Oh, thank you, Jimena. So nice to meet you. you Okay, bye. Bye. Starting to bring out some of the sweaters for the fall time. So, I mean, there's some really cute ones here. Like, I have a sweater very similar to this, but it's from Forever 21. It's got, like, the same, like, distressed look. Except this one's more cropped. Oh, and it's a V-neck. $13.99. This is cute. Oh, I would wear this. What do you think? I kind of wear it over like a tank top or something. $12.99. It's an extra small. I like the material. I don't know. Let's, let's hang on to it. See, like here. Here's a good example. Right? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it would cover this part, but I love this. I don't know. We'll hang on to both of them, but typically... Okay, I'm just like being honest. Like, I love tanks like this. This material just isn't very flattering on me. Um, I love how it has the underwire, but I don't know if it's going to be like super flattering. So we'll just, we'll put it back. Look what I spy. A Juicy Couture ring. Right there, $7.99. And those hoops there. How much are those? $6.99. Sometimes you can find some really cute shoes at Ross, but it just really depends. Look at what are these. They just say juicy all over. Furry slippers. How much are these? Oh, the name is uh, Gaudy. $12.99. Let's hang on to them. Move on to the purses. 
sometimes you can find some like hidden gems in the purses you just have to be patient and look sometimes there's nothing looks like it's already been picked through one more stop gotta be thorough and make sure you look through all the aisles because so sometimes there's there could be one item that's just out of place that. now mm -mm. which reminds me i've been seeing a lot of these bags everywhere like everyone's talking about these i didn't realize the name of these are well i don't know if it's the whatchamacallit like the a nickname but a lot of people call them the armpit bag because they like fit right into this little crook of your armpit remember i used to have a lot of small bags like this back in the day i wish they had one of these but in um like a nude color it's 11.99 and it feels so it actually feels like good quality it's from the brand olive and kate okay let's hang on to it here see they have this one but it's more of like um what is this like a camel color does this not look like a juicy couture picture frame right it could be but it's not it's by micah no way i've been looking for this i saw it but it was in a matte black then look they have it in a gold 7.99 this is perfect. This is a Cancun. I'm telling you, sometimes you just have to like be patient and you just gotta look. Because if you just breeze by really quickly, you're gonna miss out on stuff. So whenever I go to Ross, I always make sure to check out their car accessories area because sometimes you never know if you're gonna find, well, this is just me personally, like a Hello Kitty item. <laughs> um, I know. I think maybe a couple years ago they did have like some Hello Kitty steering wheel accessories, um, stuff for the seat belt, and like they're all very inexpensive. So I'm always on the lookout for it or some pink to accessorize my car. But I haven't really been able to find anything. See, I don't really see anything. Or sometimes they have these seat covers. They have some from like Wonder Woman. Um, I've seen some from Disney, if I'm not mistaken, but never Hello Kitty. So we're in the undergarments area. Look at this, this is cute. What size is this? Small. They have like, say juicy in the back. I got one of these from here. Let me see if I can find it. This is the one I got. On the back it says Royal Monday, Sweet Sunday. This is Juicy Couture, Viva La Saturday, Live for Friday, Juicy Thursday, Couture Wednesday, and then just says Tuesday. This is $14.99. This one is $10.99. And they are really comfortable really really comfortable panties juicy everything juicy bralettes look at these juicy bras right i like the straps this was not supposed to be like a juicy couture shop with me or anything it kind of turned into like let's look at juicy stuff hold on i don't even think this is my size damn no look at this what a cute bra! Oh my god, look! This part. Oh, that is so cute! Oh, it's the sexy extreme push-up. I don't know. <laughs> this is just so cute. It's not in my size though. 36B. Hold up, we're gonna have to go check. Everywhere I'm turning, it's like juicy everything. Juicy this, juicy that. A juicy bra and it has like, has like juicy on the straps what are these like little gold beads a juicy bra set how much is this 19.99 is 7.99 so very 
very reasonably priced. This is not gonna fit me. Girl, you know what that means. It just was not meant to be. Let's just move on to the next. Really quick story time. A couple weeks ago, I was here at Ross and I happened to bump into an LED sign. Have you guys ever checked out the LED signs on Etsy, which I know they're custom made, but to actually have them script out your name, it was like $300 and it was a huge sign. And I don't want like a really huge Twilight Chip 143 sign. So I just wanted a really small one. And I came across, I think it was the same brand. It was Mercury. Plugs in, it has a little um, USB plug, lights up really well. Got it here at Ross for, I think it was like $12.99, something really affordable. Just figured, you know what, I could just write on that because it is wipe erase board. And the best thing is that the lights doesn't get hot and it doesn't have like any sort of buzzing sound. So the one thing I really wanted to switch out for the fall season are our bed sheets, but our room is already pretty much very feminine. I mean, of course, Jonathan does not mind. Try to at least make the bed neutral. I mean, it's pretty much gray with pink accents. Yeah, that's why most of the time our bed sheets are gray, so that part is neutral, and then you, you could always switch out the accessories. I did find one time really, really cute Juicy Couture bed sheets. They were gray, but they had the crowns on them. I just felt like it was a little bit too much for the bedroom, so I ended up returning it, and it was like $17.99. Fun part, process of elimination. What do we think? It's a cute little bag, but checking it out in the mirror. Everything I grabbed is black. I want to try this one. It's cute. I just feel like this area is like more enhanced because it's like out. You know what I mean? We are at now at Marshall's. Just checking on glasses, mugs. Do they have any cute ones? And I saw this last time I was here. And I thought the packaging was really cute. It's in the candles area by the DW home is the warm apple cider and it looks like a little like reusable cup I should say $7.99 they also had one with a green lid oh here 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 hold on they also have other ones this is the cranberry apple cider pie latte $9.99 why is this one more expensive yeah, that's so strange. Warm apple cider $7.99 by chai latte is $9.99. You know, I always hear Tanya Gonzalez talk about this candle. It's from DW Home. It's the frosted cupcake. $7.99. Oh, oh my gosh. It does smell like a cupcake and look how pretty this is. It's got like little sparkles only burned candles three times this whole entire summer it's just been so hot that i can't even burn a candle checking out the clothing i don't really see much it's kind of like the transitional period right now where it's still warm but then you know fall right around the corner I like this bodysuit. I like the little ring, the zipper ring in the front, but it's so see-through. It's like literally see-through. So that's not good. I don't really see much today. Small. Size small. Houndstooth. This would be cute, I think, with like pink accessories. Maybe I don't really talk about it as much, but two favorite Disney characters, all time. It's gotta be Tinkerbell and Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Those are my two favorite. Look what I found. I mean, how cute does Tinkerbell look? Now I know what you're thinking. Then you never really talk about Disney. I know, I never do, but those are my two favorite Disney characters um, ever since I can remember. I've always loved Tinkerbell and 
Ariel. I found a bunch of the Cara Beauty Fabi lashes. I think I was talking about these in the, what was it? Was it July Obsessions video? Yeah, July Obsessions video. Anyway, A17, which is like one of my favorites. Can't find it anywhere except online, but I did find these. They are style A5 and they look so similar to some of my favorite lashes from Mosquito. They're $2.99. Um, they're 3D foaming lashes, so we're gonna give them a try. Why do they have to do this? Now Skinny Syrups has the Pumpkin Trio. You have Pumpkin Caramel, Pumpkin Spice, and then Pumpkin Cheesecake. I mean, did we just have to do this? Why? I don't know, and it's zero calories. This is probably one of my favorite things to like to sweeten up my coffee, but I've been just drinking black coffee with a quarter cup of almond milk that's frothed. We're just gonna have to, we're gonna put it in the cart, but we're still deciding. We made it to TJ Maxx. 8.47, it closed at 9.30. Started off in the purse area. Look what I see. Juicy Couture tote bag. 24, but... I really don't need a tote bag, but we don't need it. Gotta say that to ourselves, we don't need it. So I'm still trying to find one of those. Remember that from Ross, that little like ruched looking armpit bag? I really want to find one of those, but in the nude color. That would be wonderful, but I'm not seeing it today. Who remembers this one? The macadamia, the, was it the deep repair treatment hair mask? I remember that was like, like back in the day when I first started YouTube, that was like the thing, like everybody talked about it. We have the healing oil spray, $7.99. How much is this one? Color safe, what is this? Daily conditioning rinse, a moisturizing rinse. I need a shampoo, actually. If that was a shampoo, I would have purchased it. Do you know if they discontinued this? I Heart Revolution chocolate banana baking powder. I love I Heart Revolution products. I mean, they're really affordable and yeah, like dupes of other products. So I'm curious. This just has me intrigued because it's chocolate and banana. You guys will never believe this. Okay, I'm looking in the mug section and then just from the corner of my eye, I spot something right there in that little area. It's one of these bags. And it's like a nude kind of stone color. What are the odds, right? And it's on clearance. Look at that price. It's twelve dollars. Pleats off white. Is there like a rip or something in here? Like, how is this only twelve dollars? I'm not a fan of this. I mean, but you could always just turn it around the other way, right? But I don't know. It's vegan leather, Badgley Mishka. Let's put it in the cart and think about it. No way. Look at this. Look at this candle. We were just talking about this at Marshall's. They have a humongous one at TJ Maxx. It's pumpkin spice. $16.99 and it smells like pumpkin spice. Oh my goodness. Granted, I don't need one that's like this humongous. Hey, look at this pumpkin. It's like a velvet. Oh, it's also by Cupcakes and Cashmere. It's a velvet pink pumpkin. No more pink pumpkin. I think it was so fun hanging out with you like this and literally just like shopping together. It's a little bit dangerous. Dangerous in the sense that I ended up spending a lot more time in the store, which gives you more time to look at things, to really like sort through everything. Because honestly, I had this whole list of places that we were gonna hit up today, but no. We got through only half of it and we definitely spent a lot of time at the stores. Yeah, the vibe was super chill. Nobody really said anything. Let me stop chatting already and let me share with you what I ended up 
deciding on getting from Ross. Had to get it. The golden camera. I mean, this was only $7.99. Absolutely love it. I have a whole shelf shelf a whole shelf just for like camera and tech stuff well really like camera gear so this was this is like the perfect thing you know it's the golden camera i'm thinking of maybe putting it placing it over here on the side the z gallery perfume bottle we will see updated room tour will be going up fairly fairly soon but the golden camera had to get it home goods no we went to marshall did end up purchasing the Tinkerbell sweatshirt for $19.99 in my opinion I felt like it was a little bit on the pricier side maybe if it was like $14, $15.99 it would have been you know okay I had to really think about it but it's the perfect shade of pink and I like her expression I did try it on and the thing with the neck is that you can kind of okay you can kind of pull it off the shoulder it's not really meant to be that way but it is looser on me where I can like pull it off the shoulder a little bit so I can definitely style this many different ways I already have an idea of how I want to style it I tried on an outfit when I got home because I was like I wonder what kind of shoes I'm gonna wear th with this so this is just so cute I absolutely love it and then I did get, end up getting the houndstooth skirt and this also has like a little small slit on the side. If we end up going out this weekend, I will definitely, you know, share with you an outfit of the day. DW Frosted Cupcake Candle. And it smells delicious. I wish you could smell it. But in all honesty, after this candle is all gone, I'm going to depot it and use the container because the container is beautiful. I hope uh, the camera is doing it justice and it's picking up all the little sparkles and little iridescence to it it's very very pretty and i think it would make a beautiful decorative piece even for brushes or dirty sponges or something you know it's a very pretty container the cara beauty lashes in style a5 let me just do a little comparison between the lashes these and the lash lorette i must have been just tripping out because <laughs> i'm so off I'm probably thinking of something else. Maybe it's a kiss lash or something, but these are um, the Iskido Lash Lorette lashes. These are like my ultimate favorite lashes, but unfortunately they are discontinued. These are the ones from Cara Beauty. So these are a little bit fuller and thicker and they have more volume. I absolutely wish that they still had them, but um, I haven't been able to find a dupe of them. I thought this was it, but you know whatever we're gonna still try out the cara beauty phone stand but it's an iridescent phone stand so you guys know like i have on my on the vanity table like these iridescent glasses which are actually like wine tumblers but i use them as uh, brush holders saw this phone stand at marshall's a few weeks ago i looked at it and then i put it back did keep thinking about it so when i saw it this time they had Think like three more of them i grabbed one in all honesty this phone stand it's not a flexible one it's definitely more for the aesthetic point of view it's uh it's kind of like oh, look at that it's so pretty it's iridescent my whole point is i want to place this on the side table so i can put my phone there at night a very horrible habit of keeping my phone next to me at night or i'll fall asleep watching youtube videos and then in the morning my phone's always on the floor so i just need to make it a habit of putting this next to side table and i also have an iridescent rose that uh, my husband got i just thought the whole aesthetic was very pretty gotta mention the bag i got the bag for 12.99 on or no not 12.99 it's 12 dollars on clearance so i think when i wear this i'm gonna turn it the other way so just so that it's plain but i really really do like it i love the color i like that it's a very neutral color so it will go perfectly with like you know pink outfits go well with you know many different things plus you know it has the same style as the pleated one where it's like also pleated on the handle and the other one's like a little bit more square but it's okay. I thought this makes it a little bit different. Plus, I mean, it was twelve dollars on clearance. I Heart Revolution chocolate banana scented baking powder. I want to open this and smell it. I hope there's no flashback with this. 
Why am I smelling it? There's a little puff here. Okay, I don't smell anything. I guess we're gonna have to try it out. To be honest, I have never really been a fan of Ray Dunn mugs or just accessories. Um, my apologies, I hope, you know, if you are a Ray Dunn fan, I am not trying to offend you, but I'm just being honest. I've never really been like a fan of like just the Ray Dunn stuff. But as I was walking to get in the line, you know, um, at TJ Maxx, they have like a little section for mugs. Well, I saw this and this is the one and only, one and only Ray Dunn mug that caught my attention. I saw this one and I hope it's picking it up on camera because it says coffee, but it's iridescent. Look at that. It's an iridescent Ray Dunn coffee mug. And honestly, I just thought it was so pretty. I mean, right? It's just so, so, so pretty. The only mug I've ever found from Ray Dunn that really caught my attention and this was $5.99 so not bad very first Ray Dunn mug very happy with it I'm gonna clean up this mess put things away get my workout done for the day and edit this vlog I just want to thank you so much for hanging out with me if you have stuck around to the very end thank you thank you thank you because I kind of feel like this is going to be a lengthy vlog let me know if you enjoyed this type of vlog do you enjoy long longer vlogs and also did you enjoy hanging out this way you know like super chill at the store um let me know you know if you'd be interested in you know hanging out this way more often i hope you guys have a great weekend ahead we'll be back to a regular filming schedule i already you know know what videos i'm going to start filming this weekend i'm really really excited so don't forget to leave any requests you have down below uh don't forget to also please leave me feedback on this style vlog i would really really appreciate it i hope you guys are all doing well just want to thank you so much for hanging out today if you enjoyed hanging out and enjoyed this vlog please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be part of the chicky crew thank you chicky so much for watching have an amazing wonderful day and i will see you in the next vlog